Hello people, um, as a lot of you have asked, or a few of you have asked, do a very simple beginner's guide to After Effects, I guess you could say. I mean, it's very simple stuff. Um, yeah, I've got it here loaded. Gonna go across to this, you can buy a new project if you need to, but I already have one up. So to import, right click here, go to import, file, I've got an eye picture here that I'm going to use. And I'm going to use this as a very quick way to show you ma or masking. And um, ma what masking is, I'll cut out a bit of the image, I guess. So you're going to go down here and you're going to duplicate it by hitting Control D. You're going to shut off by clicking the little eye on the top one. Then you're going to go up here. Right next to your text tool you have a little pen tool. And you're going to want to mark out the part of the eye. And this is probably the easiest way I could do it is um, make like a Sin City sort of effect on this eye so you'd have the colored color bit and everything else would be black and white it's the only thing I could think of to do so you're gonna mark out the eye it doesn't have to be exactly perfect but you know it'll help and you could also if you want it to um, make the lines curved, but I really can be asked. And I'm gonna do it around this little bit to the pupil. Yep, and you can always go back using the first tool, little arrow. You can fix it. So that's really rough. You're gonna go down, click on the top, and I'll have masks. And you're gonna top one, which is if you did it in the order I did, it would be the top one is the outside, and the second one is the inside. And you're gonna want to make the inside one subtract instead of um, add. Now you're gonna go to the bottom one, effect color correction, hue and saturation, and you're going to go over here to the saturation, and go all the way down. And now, if you click on the little eyeball next to the top one, it should have the color inside the eye. And you can also um, feather. The, you're going to press M twice, and I'll bring up the feather on the mo no, no, bring up the feather or bring up the mask options and you hold shift select both and you can go to about 10 and I'll just make it look a bit neater now how are we doing on time about five minutes into it okay so I'm gonna have to do this other bit pretty quickly I'm gonna go I've got a bit of raw footage from my HDPVO and the quick way of making a new composition is dragging it into this and I'll bring it up straight away and I'm gonna trim this bit down by moving this big bar thing and hit trim work area right click trim work area and I'm gonna show you simple color corrections in here so you're gonna go layer, new, adjustment layer, effect, uh, color correction, curves, and if you use Sony Vegas or something before you should know this, so if this will increase the brights the, or the whites, so if you put it about there and if you use it down here or increase the docks so I'll give it a nice contrast 
and then you can also go to well what I've been doing is going to leave color and instead of going hue going to hue and increase that uh, so it leaves all but reds and then just decrease the t tolerance and if you play by hitting the space bar oh, it would only come up with reds a certain type of reds as well so like that five actually you can see the reds there reds up there it's not perfect but that's simple um... six minutes oh that's alright and there's a few other things oh yeah show you how to do a quick gradient overlay so I've deleted those two effects when I delete this adjustment layer as well I'm gonna go layer new solid uh, make it white it doesn't really matter and you're gonna go effect generate uh, ramp which is a gradient and you're gonna get two colors so maybe like a light blue and yellowy green I'm gonna go toggle switch modes and you can make it in overlay so you can see that it's blue then it goes into more yellows and if you really want to make it a good contrast you can also use duplicate the first and hit overlay but it's really contrasted so you, you just have to mess around with it you can hit add oh that's see yeah just have to like I've said you just have to mess around with it so you can but you've got that and now for rendering so say if I wanted to render that as a picture and this as a well like a 10 second long movie 3 seconds um, I go up to the first one composition make movie I don't know. Uh, keep it as that. Then go back to the other one. Composition. Make movie. And the eye is just like a quick video, so it won't have any audio. So, and just keep it at best settings. And the shot that I got from my PVR will have audio. So you hit lossless on the best settings. Hit audio output. And just keep it as it is, it's probably the best it can get, I don't really know and you can hit the under errors only I'll come up with the name and you can save it anywhere just whatever and then all you have to do is click render and that'll be it so I hope this has helped um, I'm probably not the best at tutorials and this is really quickly going through a, a lot of simple things so I I'll probably do another one a bit later when I know actually know what I'm gonna do because I've literally done this in 10 minutes little, little to no planning but anyway thanks